Here are two actions you can take to prevent or limit damage from a SIM swap scam. Set up a pin with your wireless carrier and use Google Authenticator or another Authenticator app on your phone. A SIM swap scam happens when a scammer calls your wireless carrier and impersonates you, telling the carrier that the phone was lost or stolen, and gets your phone number transferred or ported to the scammer's SIM card in their phone. From there, the scammer can access your accounts that use your phone number for two-factor authentication by SMS text messaging. That means your email, banking, cloud storage, social media, and other accounts could be hacked if they're set up with two-factor authentication using your phone number. If you think that information like your PINs, driver's license number, phone number, and social security number have never been stolen, I wouldn't be so sure. There are reported data breaches on a regular basis, and much of that information ends up being accessible to hackers all over the world. The first thing you can do to prevent this is to set up a PIN or password for your wireless account. That way, before any changes can be made to your wireless service, you have to enter in the PIN code that's usually sent by text message to your phone number. Different carriers have different names for this feature, so if you're on T-Mobile or Metro by T-Mobile, you can activate Account Takeover Protection. AT&T calls theirs Extra Security, and Verizon lets you set up a number lock so that you have to remove the lock before before the number can be ported out. In addition to the PIN, you can also have a note placed on your account that tells your carrier's customer service reps to only port your number if you handle the port in person at a carrier store. So what else can you do? Well, if your number is ported out by a scammer, you can reduce the number of accounts they can hack by using an Authenticator app. A popular choice is Google Authenticator. It's available for Android and iOS devices, and it works similarly to SMS two-factor authentication, except that the codes display in the Authenticator app. It works on many sites like Amazon, Dropbox, and Instagram, but here's how you can set up the app for a Google account. Install the Google Authenticator app on your phone and set it aside. On a different device, log into your Google account and click on the security tab. If two-step verification isn't already turned on, enable it. Allow Google to use notifications sent directly to your phone as the default. Then you have the option of using your phone number as your backup method. Since that's what Google directed me to first and what many people already use, let's just go with that for now. Google will send a verification text message to your phone number and once you enter it, you're set up with two-factor authentication. Now you have the option to use the Authenticator app, so click setup. I'll choose Android, then grab my phone and tap scan QR code in the Authenticator app and scan the code on my computer monitor. The Authenticator app will then show a six digit code that changes every 30 seconds. Type the code into your account setup box on the computer and you're done. Almost. At this point, let's say I'm a scammer. And I've stolen <coughs> and I've stolen your username and password. Then ported your phone number to my device. I log into your account, but I don't have access to the default notification that Google sends to your phone. So I click try another way. And I choose to have the verification code sent to your phone number, which is now my phone number. And I've hacked into your Google account. Let's fix this. Simply go back into the security menu in your account and select two-step verification. Then click to edit your voice or text message option and remove the phone number. Now when you log in, the option to send a text to your number is gone and you're fully set up. If you enable a pin on your wireless account and use an authenticator app, your accounts will be much more secure against a SIM swap scam. If you want to do more so that your phone number and accounts are even more secure, then check out this video from channel Hashoshi. I'm really sorry if I just pronounced that wrong.